Hello, everyone. I'm your host, Ruby Gill, and I feel honored to welcome all the parents on the behalf of lovely professional university and our experts for the webinar. And all the parents are thankful to you to taking a keen part in today's webinar, which is entitled Building Careers for Tomorrow Role of Parents. And I believe at the end of the day, the most overwhelming key to a child's success is the positive involvement of the parents. And parents, I'm sure you will feel enriched with the knowledge for after completion of today's webinar. So kindly allow me to introduce the experts. I humbly welcome the epitome of wisdom and select Ms. Malvinda Gill, Deputy Dean, Division of Student Relationship, Assistant Director, Department of Counseling and Happiness, lovely professional university. Having an experience of 41 years, she started her career as a lecturer of law in Gurnanak Dev University. She has been a solicitor in London and a regional manager and trainer for retail chain in London as well. Her mantra of success is the right attitude, focus, and desire to learn, and she live up to this. She has that positive attitude, that positive aura, and she's focused and has that urge to learn new things, and she passes the same to her students as well. So thank you so much, ma'am, for joining us today. With equal pleasure, I welcome a man who is great orator, Always spread positive words and fountainhead of illuminating ideas, Mr. Sarabjit Singh Kwatra, Deputy Dean, Human Resource Development Center, lovely professional university. Accomplished his MBA from National Institute of Management, he is a certified trainer from GCI University, United States of America. From the last 15 years, he has been training premium companies across and hierarchies in selling skills, assertiveness, leadership, and soft skills worldwide. So, sir, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Likewise, I would extend my warm welcome to Professor Archana Malik. Head, Department of Soft Skills at Lovely Professional University. She has done her MBA Finance from IPS Chandigarh. To her credit, she is a corporate trainer and certified NLP trainer. Her 13 years of experience in innovating different workshops with experiential learning has created a niche in her career. She has also developed brands for various learning forums for faculty. So ma'am, thank you so much for giving us your valuable time. Additionally, I would like to welcome our admission expert, Mr. Neera Sharma, Senior Officer, Lovely Professional University, with an experience of 15 years his expertise lies in business development, marketing, and product promotion. And today he'll discuss about the admission part of the university. He'll be discussing about the fee scholarship, which will make you save a lot of money. And he'll also be sharing the infrastructure part of the university. So thank you, sir, thank for you. joining. Thank you. So with this, we'll begin uh, today's webinar. I welcome you all once again to the webinar and hope that you will all have a great interaction with our experts. So over to you, Ashna, ma'am for the content of the day. Thank you, Rosie, for this very extended introduction. Uh, your voice was full of enthusiasm and also the concern for the topic that we have rolled out for today's webinar. Uh, building careers for tomorrow, the role of parents. Uh, uh, दिनों से हम ये इंटरैक्शन कर रहे हैं पेरेंट्स के साथ और uh, मलिंदा मैम मुझे ये लगता है कि शायद हमारे टाइम में हमारे पेरेंट्स को इतना कंसर्न नहीं होता था या हम अपने बच्चों के लिए कितने कंसर्न है क्या ये 
इतनी चॉइस बढ़ गई है इसलिए कंसर्न बढ़े इतनी ऑप्शन है हमारे पास देर आर सो मेनी ऑप्शन मोर चॉइस लीड्स टू मोर की ऑस तो बट ऑल सेड एंड डन इट इज वेरी हार्टनिंग टू सी दैट द पेरेंट्स आर रियली कंसर्न फॉर द करियर्स ऑफ देयर चिल्ड्रन एंड द इंट्रैक्शन एंड द क्वेश्चन दैट दे पुट दे मे बी सिमिलर एंड समहाउ देयर बट द कंसर्न इज वेरी मच एविडेंट देयर इन द इन देयर इंट्रैक्शन so once again i would like to welcome my co panelists ms malvinda ma'am archana malik is the union head of central professional enhancement and your truly sarabjit singh quarter to kis tarah ke ye concerns aate hain ye broadly jitne bhi hamare piche questions hamare paas aaye ab ya pehle bhi aate rahe hain whenever we get the opportunity to interact with parents so their concerns are broadly focused on these four parameters so kya hai ki jo education hai especially the higher education jahan pe bachchon ka career banta hai foundation to hum school mein banta dekhte hain tab bhi bahut concern tha lekin ye ek agla padav hai the next milestone which will take them to their future of tomorrow so one of the biggest concern that the parents have shown is education should be career focused kaha kya aur kaise ye teen sawalon ka jawab wo bahut utsukta se chahte hain where should i put my ward which institute or the institution or the university will cater to those special needs of my child and what is the process of getting into that university ye kuch aise sawal unke man mein aate hain ek aur sawal bahut aata hai khas kar ke mothers ka ye sawal hota hai ki mera bachcha my boy or my girl uh, she has been with me for the all the schooling days but now suddenly she would be going or he would be going to a higher education institution where which is not primarily possible not all the time possible uh, to be at the same uh, a town or city so how do i keep track for one reason it may be away from the hometown the second now the child has grown but he or she may not share her uh, progress or her activities with me all the time but as a concerned parent i always would like to just observe and see how can i track the progress aur ek aur bahut sawal aata hai kya facilities hongi wahan ये उनके कुछ कंसर्न हैं जो हमने पीछे देखे वॉट काइंड ऑफ द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फेसिलिटीज एक्सेसिबिलिटीज दूज एंड डू नॉट तो ये क्या होंगे ये उनके कुछ कंसर्न हैं लेकिन सिर्फ कंसर्न ही नहीं है कुछ उनकी एक्सपेक्टेशन भी हैं uh, अर्चना आपने भी बहुत ऐसे सेमिनार्स वेबिनार्स किए हैं तो ये कुछ एक्सपेक्टेशन uh, क्या आप भी समझती हैं ये उनकी पेरेंट्स कुछ डायलिमाज होते हैं हमारे पेरेंट्स के दिमाग में कुछ बट सबसे पहले ये चीज है की एक्सपेक्टेशन क्या होती है सो एज अ पेरेंट वॉट द बेसिक एक्सपेक्टेशन है चाइल्ड टू एनी अकेडमिक इंस्टीट्यूट और यूनिवर्सिटी फॉर हायर एजुकेशन in any form malinda ma'am i would like you to throw some light on it what are the major expectations of parents here thank you so much uh, archana very very valid question kyunki dekhiye jab bhi kabhi hum apne school se bachcha pass out ho gaya acche number aaye hain class 10 class 12 mein to ab major decision jo ek parent ko banana hai ki main apne bacche ko kaisi institution mein dalu kaisi university mein dalu jiske paas ke जैसे आप कह रहे हैं क्या होना चाहिए सबसे पहले तो ऑल द पेरेंट्स मस्ट कंसिडर कि एक वो इंस्टीट्यूशन में आप अपने बच्चे की एडमिशन करवाइए जहां पे कि एक्सेलेंट एकेडमिक एजुकेशन प्रोवाइड की जा सकती है व्हाट इज एक्सेलेंट एकेडमिक एजुकेशन 
वो आपको पता लग जाएगा अभी हम आगे जाके आपको बताएंगे कि कितनी एक्रेडेशन हमारी यूनिवर्सिटी को मिली है और किसके मुताबिक ही वो डिसाइड कर सकते हैं कि यहाँ पे अच्छी एकेडमिक एजुकेशन मिल रही है इसलिए मुझे अपने बच्चे को उस यूनिवर्सिटी में डालना चाहिए सेकेंड पॉइंट हमेशा हम इसी चीज पर डिस्कस करते हैं कि क्या एकेडमिक एजुकेशन सिर्फ थियोरेटिकल नॉलेज इज मोर देन इनफ फॉर द चाइल्ड टू कम आउट ऑफ द यूनिवर्सिटी और अगर उसके पास बहुत अच्छी डिग्री होगी बहुत अच्छे नंबर होंगे पर कोई लाइफ स्किल्स नहीं होगी कोई स्किल्स नहीं होगा कि क्या वो अपने आप को एक जॉब रिलेटेड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में कॉरपोरेट सेक्टर हो गया गवर्नमेंट सेक्टर हो गया एंटरप्रिनरशिप हो गया क्या वो अपने आप को वहां पे सक्सेसफुल बना सकेगा एंड द आंसर टू दैट इज नो ओनली एकेडमिक एजुकेशन इज नॉट इनफ उसके साथ साथ उसको एक स्किल बेस्ड एजुकेशन भी मिलनी चाहिए और वो भी हमारी यूनिवर्सिटी प्रोवाइड करती है आगे जाके कुछ क्वेश्चंस हम पेरेंट्स के आते रहते हैं तो उनका हम जवाब में आपको बता देंगे कि कैसे हम ये भी प्रोवाइड करते हैं थर्ड पॉइंट में ये सोचती हूँ कि कोई भी एक बच्चा जब पास होता है जब एक पेरेंट अपने चाइल्ड को कहीं एडमिशन दिलवाता है तो वो सोचता है कि अच्छा यहाँ से इनको अच्छी एजुकेशन एकेडमिक नॉलेज भी मिल जाएगी स्किल बेस्ड नॉलेज भी मिल जाएगी पर क्या ये यूनिवर्सिटी में प्लेसमेंट्स का क्या रिकॉर्ड है क्या वहां पे कंपनियां आती हैं किस लेवल की कंपनियां आती हैं जो कि उनके बच्चों को अपॉर्चुनिटी दे सकें कि उनको वहां पे जाके कोई जॉब प्लेसमेंट मिल जाए तो यहाँ भी हम आप, आपको दिखाएंगे कि कैसे हमारी यूनिवर्सिटी के पास बहुत अच्छे से अच्छी जो आपने बहुत नाम सुने होंगे क्या गूगल क्या एमेजोन क्या यू नो कोई भी आप बड़ा बड़ा नाम ले लें तो वहीं पे आपको फेसबुक तक हमारे जो उनसे बच्चे हैं वहां पे प्लेस्ड होंगे तो प्लेसमेंट रिलेटेड भी एक्टिविटीज होनी चाहिए उस यूनिवर्सिटी में एंड लास्ट बट नॉट द लीस्ट क्या एक होलिस्टिक इन्वायरमेंट है जहां बच्चा पढ़ भी सके स्किल भी अपनी इंप्रूव करे रेजिडेंशियल फैसिलिटी में रह भी सके और वो काफी जो हम इन्वायरमेंट एस एज सच की टेम्परेचर एनवायरमेंट नॉट सो मच बट दंजीनियल लर्निंग फीलिंग वेरी कंफर्टेबल इन्वायरमेंट भी होना चाहिए जहां पे बच्चे का मन लग सके कि वो पढ़ाई भी करे अपनी स्किल डेवलपमेंट भी करे और अपनी प्लेसमेंट की तैयारी भी करे तो ये सब चीजों को वो जरूर ध्यान में रखिए और आगे जाके हम आपको बताएंगे कि हमारी यूनिवर्सिटी के पास क्या क्या फैसिलिटीज हैं जो कि ये सारे बॉक्सेस को टिक करती है so i hope i've been able to throw some light on the question that you just asked absolutely ma'am thank you so much uh, i must say that was very helpful but ek sawal jo basic aata hai aapne bataya ki as a parent hum kya kya tick points hote hain hamare hum kya kya cheeze tick kar sakte hain in terms of quality education placements ye sab kuch bataya now i'm sure hamari audience bahut curious hai janne ki ki lpu mein ye sab kuch hai ya nahi i just like to throw some light there कि क्या एल ये सब कुछ सारे पैरामीटर्स पे ठीक होता है नहीं होता और यू हैव समथिंग एडिशनल दैट वी कैन प्रोवाइड हियर टू टू पेरेंट्स द स्टूडेंट्स हियर थैंक यू अर्चना ये बहुत सही कहा आपने कि पेरेंट्स एक्चुअली वांट टू सी ये सारी बातें तो ठीक है लेकिन क्या लवली प्रोफेशन यूनिवर्सिटी में ये सब चीज पाया जाएगा तो मैं और हमेशा एक बात पर विश्वास रखता हूँ आई ऑलवेज बिलीव That seeing is believing. तो मैंने एक छोटा सा क्लिप शेयर करना चाहूंगा अपने ऑडियंस से अगर आप मुझे थोड़ा सा let me see and ये आप देखेगा आपको नजर आएगा आपके सवालों का जवाब भी जरूर दूंगा
कि देखिए पांच सवाल आपने उठाए थे you could see this when they uh, in this video small little audio where you and that the facilities that are available you know, we are talking about quality teaching we have the educate infrastructure to back that up look at the kind of library that we can the learning environment the classrooms you talking about holistic development you could see some of the faces which i believe all of us would recognize because they have made india proud and it is with pride that i can say that these faces that we recognize there on the screen are the pride of apu also not that they have brought medals but they have been part and they are part of the apu fraternity yahan pe wo padhte hain to un bachchon ne Uh, they have made us proud so holistic development you could also see the infrastructure where there are cultural events there we we always boast of uh, the uh, diversity the strength of the university we have almost all states rather all states represented from india where students come and parents and trust those students to lovely professional university not only pan india but people students come from various other countries also on a 15 country representations are there in the university so look at the diversity when they meet together they learn from each other and live both in letter and spirit the holistic development you were talking about placement you look at the the placement that were visualized there you name the company our students have made their mark in those companies and all is because of the quality the holistic development and of course the the environment let me tell you we are the uh, largest single campus university in india and it is one of the most safe zones personally being associated with the university We lost almost one decade. I could say, I could say that. So this is again seeing is believing. Uh, almost every year, thousands of parents uh, entrust us with the future of their children, and we have lived up to that trust that they have shown in us, reposed in us, and we would continue doing. इतना कहना चाहता था और कोई सवाल है तो मैं जरूर आई वुड लाइक टू आंसर शोर थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सो मच वी हैव अ क्विक क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम मिस्टर राकेश इन द चैट बॉक्स ही सेज के दिस वेरी इंप्रेसिव बट माय चाइल्ड इज नॉट एक्सपोज्ड मार ही इज वेरी शाय टाइप्स दैट्स अ वेरी वैलिड क्वेश्चन आई थिंक नॉट ओनली फॉर राकेश जी बट फॉर अदर्स आल्सो लॉट ऑफ पेरेंट्स वुड हैव दिस क्वेश्चन दैट यू नो at lpu we offer all the facilities however if a child is an introvert is shy so what do we provide in terms of support in terms of system in terms of hand holding for them malinda ma'am can you throw some light there again i would say ki this is a very very valid question you see school atmosphere there are different types of schools in some schools children do get the facilities to take part in dance drama elocution you know going on to the stage whereas in other schools they may not be able to provide such kind of facility and then sometimes the child feels it's all right to have companies coming in but am i ready to appear for a good group discussion can i write a good cv do i have that verbal ability skills am i confident enough to be able to pass that interview so all those questions can be answered by one thing only ki mai i would like to tell the 
parents that along with academic knowledge, along with studying data processing, Java, Python, jo marzi aap kele, along with that, we have a regular curriculum where we teach them how they can prepare themselves for placement. So right from the beginning, only from first semester onwards, we start inducting them into a system where we teach them soft skills. In soft skills, they would be able to learn how to write a good CV, how taking part in extracurricular activities is going to enhance their skill, improve their confidence. They will teach them how to appear for group, group discussions, how to interact and how to you know, best present themselves. Then we have verbal ability classes where we teach them how to speak, you know, better communication skills are taught in English. And also we have analytical skills because the placement related activities, when the companies are coming, they do want to understand and also assess the child whether he has the ability to reason, to analytically analyze some, some statement or some algorithm or some something that is given to them. So all these PEA, PES, PEV classes are held regularly. Along with that, I would also like to say, just one second, <coughs> that we have specific classes because some companies have specific needs. So we have company related preparation classes where we prepare them that whatever the company needs, we will be able to prepare the child accordingly. So with all that, I can always say that we have trained soft skills trainers, analytical skills trainers, verbal ability trainers who are qualified and they are the ones that are preparing the children as they go along, whether it's a three year course, whether it's a four year course, so the child will learn and they are fully, fully prepared for the placements. So I can, you know, tell you with great confidence that you leave that to us and we will be able to prepare your child so that he feels very confident. So there is no question of that he's shy and he will always remain shy. There are all these opportunities. These are all done in group activities. So the child will become very confident by the time the company comes and we will be able to prepare the child accordingly. So you can rest assured. Can I be something? Unturned. Arshina, can I add something here? Sure. Please, sir, please go ahead. Okay. Uh, uh, Malvinda ma'am was talking about this. I just like to uh, answer one very pertinent point, bring it to notice of Mr. Rakesh, the concerned uh, parent who asked this question that uh, when the child enters the university, it is not just that directly we put him into the class or her into the class. There is an entire process, an entire event, which is a show of its own kind, which we call the freshman induction. So that induction and orientation takes place where the child, apart from the logistics, the registration processes, the orientation about the curriculum, but primarily more focused on the cultural development, the, the holistic development aspect, where he is introduced to various kinds of uh, clubs and uh, the, the culture activities that do take place in the university. And uh, the child is eased into the system, if I may use this term. It is not just that he's just put it in class and the higher education starts. It's the process of getting attuned, acclimatized, and eased before the actual uh, classes take over. So this process in itself is called the freshman induction itself. And apart from that, we do have uh, the kind of a hand-holding system, uh, which I'm sure, Rachna, you're going to talk about. Uh, and Malvinda, I would like to say something more about that. Now. Absolutely, sir. Thank you so much. That was very insightful. So we have another question. I think it's somehow related to what you've just answered. This question is from uh, Srishti. So Srishti ji has this very simple question where again she's talking um, across for her child. She says uh, that's been very encouraging to listen to all of you. 
बट माई कंसर्न इज माई चाइल्ड हैज ऑलवेज स्टेड इन अ प्रोटेक्टेड इन्वायरमेंट एट होम especially in the last few years during covid and also a very protected school how can i be assured that my child doesn't feel lost so i think first part quarter so we already answered when we talking about the freshman induction if we could throw some more light towards the mentorship the hand holding the academic performance the uh, online dost ma'am and sir request both of you to take up this question partially Yeah, just before Mandanda ma'am takes over, uh, you know the the system has where you know our faculty itself are designated and deputed to mentor, and every faculty has been given uh, the duty or the responsibility of mentoring just a handful of score of people, about twenty I think uh, students are being catered. If this mentor faculty is. Other than the regular class teaching teachers, which interact with the students at every given moment of time, so any there are regular meetings and interactions with the mentor more in frequency towards the beginning of the entry of the child into the university and its system, and where he can or she can share all the concerns, the apprehensions, the fears. Uh, and the reinforcements that uh, the child requires, and the mentor uh, takes care of it. And these mentors are very, very responsible uh, people. They are not only good in the subject matter, but here they are also really taking, uh, you know, ensuring that the child entrusted to this mentor does not be lost or out of place. And apart from that, there is an entire system which I am sure. Balvinder ma'am would like to say because she has built and has been part of that system. Absolutely right, Quatra uh, uh, sir. That I would like to also say that these mentors are literally like your your parents, your guide, your coach. So the student has the same mentor throughout, and these mentors have regular meetings with the student to congratulate them when they are doing very well. to hold their hand if they need any kind of help so they are constantly having it is in fact mandatory for the mentors to have at least one or two monthly meetings with the mentee and the mentee's telephone number their email telephone number their emails are all shared so the student can ring up their mentor any time and they are always available for help along with that because it is a new atmosphere because it is a new way of learning they are leaving school they are leaving home whether they are day scholars or whether they are hostlers sometimes it can happen and i'm sure that we will all agree that the students are very young so they can go through some emotions like anxiety maybe academic stress maybe some sort of peer pressure and sometimes loneliness any kind of i would say maybe not so serious with any kind of uh, emotional or psychological issues if they may have we have a dedicated department under the division of student relationship we have a dedicated department called department of counseling and happiness so humne uska naam hi department of counseling and happiness we want that every child should be happy while he is taking his education in lovely professional university so we have trained clinical psychologists which are free for the student to have free counseling sessions to have confidential counseling sessions so they can visit the a psychologist in person they can also talk to them on the phone in, in case they don't want to visit so this is all completely free also the parents have access to it the parents can also consult the counseling psychologist free of charge and totally confidential along with that as we have seen that during the pandemic not many people could visit the counseling psychologist in person so we have collaborated with a very well known online counseling service called yourcos all the students have access to through it and they will be able to you know connect with the psychologist whatever time of the day so this organization will be able to provide psychologists again totally free of charge completely confidential 
365 days a year, 24 hours, seven days a week. So this kind of service is, I would say, unique to our university that they have collaborated with an online service and they also have a face-to-face -face counseling uh, psychologist always available any time of the day whenever the student is available. So you can imagine that in case we take care of the psychological, emotional aspect and also the educational aspect, I am quite confident that the student will be very, very happy and be very relaxed when he's studying in the university. Indeed, Ajay. thank you so much. That was very helpful. So we've received a question from Mr. Ujwal Jha. His question is from when will the classes start for BTEC CSC for academic year 2022-2023? So the approximate dates would be the end of July and starting of August. The exact dates will be intimated to you very soon. Uh, it will be by the end of July in the first week of August. Uh, however, since the students are in different batches, so the exact date will be told to you and we'll start with the induction and then with the classes. All right. Uh, there's another quick question that we have in the chat box, which is very pertinent here to what Malda Ma'am has just said. Uh, okay, this is from uh, Ms. Geeta. Ms. Geeta has said that you've talked, Ma'am, all about the uh, teachers being available for students. You've talked about uh, your those being there and the system being there, but sitting at home, how can I know what is my child doing? what should i know about my child's performance i think that's a very uh, valid question in terms of you know as teachers we're always there as mentors we're there the way you said counseling sessions people are available always there's an entire app dedicated but somebody who's sitting at home as a parent definitely has this valid question that i am worried what is my child doing what are the grades how is my child keeping how will i sit at home and get apprised on the same if you could throw some light there Yes, uh, I, I was waiting for this question, thinking ke, how can a parent relax at home when they have sent their child to study in the university? All the time you want to know, how's my child doing? How he's you know coping up with this new way of study, being totally independent, so it's but natural, it is a very, uh, I would say uh, a feeling that every parent should have that they should know what their child is and we do also you know encourage the parents to always keep in touch with the university always try and find out what your child is doing how your child is progressing what is uh, you know how well he's doing in his studies what else is he learning because that connect has to be maintained so keeping that in mind our university has a dedicated department called division of student relationship that is to keep the bond always very strong between parents and the university between students parents and the university these are the three stakeholders that we always take care about so to make that facility available how are they going to touch keep in touch with the university is through a system called lpu touch to understand LPU touch in detail, you can always visit the university and we will tell you or we will tell you on the phone. But simply putting it, it's like an just like you have a WhatsApp. Similarly, you will download an application called LPU touch. And through this LPU touch, which you can do it on your smartphone, you can do it on a laptop. You will be able to know exactly what is happening in the university. We call it the university management system. You will have access to the management system. You will know what functions are happening, what the organization is doing. Again, through the same system, you will be able to access how much is the fees, when is the fees going to be paid, what are what time the classes are starting. You will also have access to the results. You will also have access to the timetable. You will know exactly what is the timetable of the child, what is the course that he is studying? What time he has to go into class? What time his first period finishes, his second class finishes? So everything and anything which you want to find out regarding how your child is doing is there at the touch of a fingertip. So this is how well you can be connected. We also have a system, what we call management, uh, you know, RMS, redressal management system. If you have a query, if you have a suggestion, if you have any inquiry, if you have any feedback, 
you can again go because you will have the same login system which your child will have except that the registration number will be prefixed by p so you will have the same registration number like your child you will just fix p you will have your own password so your child will not be able to change your password don't share it with him and you will be able to find out ki exactly if you want to ask us something put an rms there is a whole team that is taking care of the management redressal system and you will be able to put your query we, we have a deadline to answer we like i said we have a whole team taking care of it last but not the least you will have an email called parents@lpu.co.in you can write to us there's a whole team taking care of the emails also and you will be able to get a reply whatever your query is so there is i would always say that there are all these systems have been created so that the bond between the university the child and the teacher and the mentor is always very strong so do use these systems whenever you put your or admit your child in lovely professional university so these are very I, I i find them very unique though i have traveled quite a lot in the world and i just found that that we also have parent teacher meeting in the university we have parent teacher meeting where you are personally invited come and spend some time with us and we will be able to answer your questions personally anything that and we would love to take a feedback whatever you suggest to us we will take very seriously and we will try and you know rectify our systems or amend our systems so that we are always improving our systems to help our students and our parents so i hope that answers your question um, archana indeed ma'am thank you so much that was very uh, helpful thank you so much so we have a question from bhavesh bhavesh uh, sir has a very simple question he says my daughter has always stayed at home and this is the first time she is going out i am worried for her safety and security i think as a parent that is a very valid question we've talked about facilities we've talked about everything but when you talk about safety and security that too of a girl child i think that bothers all of us and uh, it is something that he is absolutely valid in uh, raising a concern about can you throw some light on the same quarter sir to help mr bhavesh yeah, definitely uh, definitely and i agree as a parent of a girl child it is very uh, matter of concern for us that our child should if at all she is staying away from home should be secure and safe the environment should be congenial so again i would like to just show one little clip to just have a glance at their uh, own uh, self so that they can have a look at what kind of facilities do we have so just give me a moment to show this video which will depict all the facilities that are there in the university pertaining to residential
So I guess this answers the question. Let me begin with the residential facilities. Uh, let me share it with all the concerned parents that we have separate residential facilities for boys and girls. For girls at the moment, we have six uh, uh, hostels which are being manned by all the lady staff. Our pensions may take you can see, look at the, the boom barrier where only the child who is staying in that uh, hostel or <coughs> registered to stay in that hostel can have an access to enter. All the basic facilities are there uh, available near the whole residential uh, area. May it be a, a food court, maybe it, uh, some kind of a laundry service, the ATMs, all with an access there. You could see that the variety of residential facilities varies from an apartment to a twin sharing to a dormitory or to a three seater or a four seater. So, just the you know, it creates that for the choice of the child and the budget that the parents can have. The child has an access to the residential facility. All entrances are electronically surveyed. The, the lady staff and the security staff itself is there uh, from the lady itself. So, apart from the other facilities, there is a common room, there is a kind of a easy gym also. So everything that you feel that your child needs and it is there, even to the, the, the taste of the food that the child would prefer. Like I already mentioned in my one of our earlier discussions, that we have representations of children coming to us from all the states in India. Now every state has rich, you know, food, culinary, uh, 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 you know, items or the recipes. So we try to <coughs> cover all for that people coming from south can have their own access, from northeast they're again on privilege. So uh, anything that is vegetarian, irrespective of which culture it uh, represents, you would find them there. And apart from that, there are facilities to body, the, the, the gyms are there, the facilities to so just to ensure that uh, the child is at ease, especially the girl child, the hostels are just uh, home, away from home. So this is uh, the kind of facilities that we carry and uh, even to the extent that uh, if the child has to leave in the LQ touch that uh, the, uh, or the UMS system that Dr. Ms. Malvinda was talking about, the parent can know as to what time the child left the hostel and that, that information the communication uh, per se is also very strong and the parent can self uh, keep track of the child. So such kind of an infrastructure is there. Let me again reach it. one of the most safe and secure zones. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. We have a question related uh, to the same. Uh, Mr. Manender Gupta has said that, hello, sir and ma'am, every university and college claims that we are best However, my son is from a rural background and that too from Maharashtra. So how do you think is my child going to be helpful to become familiar and yet prosper in LPU? How are you going to stand differently? So if you could just answer the question, yeah, sir. One line I would like to add before I would request Malvinda ma'am to carry. You see, every child is a unique identity and an entity. Irrespective of the language that he carries. And LPU is the best place to, you know, unleash that potential that every child gets. Uh, English ki baat ki, Malvinda ma'am talked about it. I'm sure she's going to reinforce that we have classes to improve the verbal ability of the child irrespective of whether he comes from Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, or UP, Bihar, wherever, or down south, they would have an access to increase, enhance, and learn the verbal ability. The spoken, written communication, all this is, I'm sure, Rachana, you are heading this division, so you, you, you would again reinforce and reiterate the kind of professional excellence uh, enhancement opportunities that children are 
uh, getting here in the world. Absolutely, sir. So uh, the question is very valid. The question was uh, pretty concerning because the parent has asked very clearly that everybody claims, and it's a fact that all of us would always claim to be the best. However, how will a child prosper and will be taken care of? I think I'll uh, answer it in very simple fashion, right? Picking up from where the mom started initially, from hand holding in terms of mentoring to taking care of the overall personality in terms of holistic personality. Whether you're talking about what the way Kwatasa you said about facilities, we have the indoor stadium uh, out of which and the outdoor stadium out of which we've made uh, the maximum amount of awards in terms of sports as well. Uh, the students getting placed at whooping 64 lakh rupees, that itself talks a lot. I think uh, the facts and figures itself say much more than we have to say. So we would not claim much, but I think your video said a lot. Our social media posts that have been approved, we can't go and claim anyhow that, you know, we are approved by all the major accreditation bodies. Uh, we have tie up with major uh, associations, with major international associations. So we know that what we are claiming, we are definitely very, very good. That is a reason. So be it the assurance of a child being safe to be it a fact that a child is getting placed. It is a commitment that we all make today to handhold a child and the way you said it is unique. We don't have a standardized format for that. So if I as a child have to go to Quatrasa, I will be treated differently. And similarly, if the child goes to Quatrasa, he's going to treat the child differently. So it's going to be all across and that's a fact, it's irrespective of whosoever is doing anything. All right, uh, we have another quick question here. A parent has asked, uh, let me check the name, or uh, the parents has asked that if we are traveling from other states, can we stay with our uh, child inside the university? Ujwal sir has asked this question. Not really. We would request you to look at the various accommodations around uh, Jalandhar itself and around the university. You have ample amount of residential options available right across opposite to the university and around so it becomes much more easy for you to choose however we are committed towards serving the students and we like to maintain that exclusive exclusivity for the students itself okay so uh, yes there are ample uh, options available outside so please yes you can go ahead and uh, stay anywhere around okay so we have another question here uh, this one is where uh, Shri has asked Shri has asked you're talking about so many things about opportunities. You're talking about a uh, girl child being safe. You're talking about everything. What do we do in terms of our holistic development for the children? I think majorly we've answered, but uh, in case uh, my panelists would like to throw some more light on the same. I think we have shown also, and we've also answered this question. A lot of stress is done for the holistic development the clubs that the child can be a part of give them opportunity to uh, work in teams. Even the project, the capstone projects are also given where they have to work in groups so that they can learn to work in teams, arrange events, manage those events, manage with sometimes finances also available. Uh, and uh, again, uh, for to back their research and academic things, we got one of the best uh, faculty around you. Lately, we have been uh, ranked amongst uh, our 13 professors have been ranked amongst top two percent of scientists in the world, but none other than the Stanford University. So I'm, I'm sure there are lots of uh, uh, evidences. Uh, come with all the expectations, I would just like to say, and I'm sure your child will walk away to the world in his pocket. So I think now for the road ahead, we have uh, our admission expert here who would like to uh, share uh, the modalities to carry it through. Indeed. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah, very, very good afternoon, all of you. Thank you so much for the valuable information. I'm sure the parents are going to benefit a lot out of it. So. Before proceeding directly to the presentation, I would like to brief you a little bit about the university first, and then we'll switch over to the presentation. Basically, if I talk about LPU, so we are India's largest private university in terms of area and number of students on a single campus. So we have only one campus in India, 
and that is situated in Fagwara, very close to Jalandhar in Punjab. And this is such a huge campus that it is spread over 600 plus acres of land. And if you talk about strength, we have more than 30,000 students who are studying here and they are from 50 different countries. So you can very well imagine people coming from 50 different country means we are far, far better in terms of placements, in terms of curriculum we are teaching, in terms of practical knowledge we are giving, and of course the faculties and other things we have in our campus. And if you talk about facilities, as sir and ma'am has already discussed a lot, that we have each and every facility available within the campus itself. Like we do have a huge mall here, we have a hospital, we have separate hostel facilities for boys and girls, which is 100% secure. We do have food courts. Then we do have indoor stadium and banks, ATMs. Means each and every facility which a student needs in day-to-day -day life is available within the campus. So now coming to the presentation. So on the screen, you can see that the very first slide shows the achievements given by the students of LPU. Yes, we have broken the records and 13 LPU students, they participated in Tokyo Olympic Games in 2020. And we are proud to share that 10% of the Indian Olympic participants were LPU students. Another feather to a cap that LPU team lifts runner-up trophy at Kalo India University Games. And this was presided over by none other than Honorable Home Minister, Mr. Amit Shah, along with the Sports Minister, Anurag Thakur, who were the ones who awarded the runners-up trophy to LPU team at Kalo India University Games. Now coming to the rankings. Nowadays, you'll find there are different agencies, different magazines, which provide you rankings in different categories. So if I move on to next slide, please, like there's a Times Higher Education Impact Rankings of 2022, which says that LPU ranks at 74th position globally, which is a very big achievement, right? Another Times Higher Education World University Rankings of 2022 says that LPU has been ranked at the 36th position among top universities of India. So if I talk about subject-wise rankings, we are second in business and economics, we are eighth in clinical and health, ninth in computer science, and tenth in engineering and life sciences. So you can very well understand from these rankings that where does LPU stand? Another good achievement, if I talk about Atal rankings of institutions on innovation achievements, LPU is ranked at third in India. Now coming to the campus life and exposures offered, right? So on the very first slide, you can see Mr. Uh, Mr. Narendra Modi, Honorable Prime Minister of India, he was the one who inaugurated Indian Science Congress, which was 106th IST, that was held in 2019. Another big personality, His Holiness Dalai Lama, was present in LPU in one of our events. Then you can see two former presidents, former president of India and former president of Afghanistan, they shared the dice at one of our convocations. Then late finance minister of India, Shri Arun Jaitli ji, he was the one who inaugurated LPU startup school. Then Gohar Gopal Das, the spiritual guru who was here with us and he shared his life experiences with students and faculty members. None other than the Bollywood icons, Shah Rukh Khan, Deepika Padukone, you name them, you'll find them here at our campus. MS Dhoni, Another great personality which is known throughout the world. He was here with us at our campus. Then if I talk about infrastructure, on the very first picture, you can see there are 14 blocks back to back along with the library and the ECE department, which you see just now on the screen. Then we have a fully equipped uh, auditorium with a capacity of 2,500 people who can sit along in one go. Then this is the mall which I was talking about 
a very big mall built up within the campus itself for the facilities of the students. The inside view of the mall, you can see the picture here. Then fully automated library. It is 24 seven library which students can use anytime. They can issue the books and they can study comfortably while sitting at the library. Then the other recreational facilities available. You can see the bowling area and of course the gymnasium. And this is the hospital which I was talking about. We do have a 25 bedded hospital and a dental chair available within the campus. This is the inner view of the hospital. So if in case if there is any emergency, we do have facilities available for the benefit of the students within the campus itself. Now you can see the indoor stadium, right? So these are the facilities available within the stadium. We have an Olympic size swimming pool here. Then we do have facilities like uh, badminton, volleyball, basketball, and of course we do have a gun range which is available in the indoor stadium. Then this is the panoramic view of the campus and the night view you can see in the picture. Now quickly moving to the website. Now if somebody wants to have a details of the program, let's say you're willing to go for a detail of a particular program. Somebody is interested to join BTEC CSC. So the website for LPU is LPU.in. So once you reach the website on the very first page, you will find a tab by the name admissions. So if you click on that admissions below that you will find different programs like uh, it will ask you whether you're looking for programs after 12 which are undergraduate programs or after graduation you're looking for PG programs or even doctorate programs. So according to the eligibility of the student and the area of interest in which you are willing to take admission you will click on that particular area and you will further come to know that the under 12th let's say you are a 12th class student and you're looking for details of those programs so it will show you all the disciplines in which you can be eligible like whether you're looking for engineering management pharmaceutical commerce economics computer so accordingly let's say somebody is interested for engineering the student will click on engineering part then the different streams will come in front of the student like whether you're looking for computer science or electronics and communication engineering robotics automation biomedical mechanical so as for the interest of the student you'll click on that particular stream you'll come across the details of the program like what are the specialization areas what are the minors which are being offered in that particular stream accordingly you can have a look at the fee structure and the scholarship slabs. Now I'll just take one example. Let's say somebody is interested for BTEC computer science and engineering, which is a four years program with eight semesters. So once you click on that detail, you'll come to know that what is the fee structure of the program? What is the eligibility? Like the eligibility says that you need to have 60% aggregate marks in 12. You need to have studied physics, maths, and English as compulsory subjects. And along with that, you will have to qualify our in house test, which is called LPUNIS. That is mandate compulsory for the students to get admission in engineering. So once you are fulfilling this eligibility criteria, you can enroll yourself for the program. And then we are giving very good scholarships to the students. And these scholarships are further divided into different categories like the very first category through which a student can win scholarship is on the basis of our LPUNES test only. So there are different cutoffs. We have divided the scholarships into three different cutoffs, cutoff three, cutoff two, cutoff one. So according to the score which a student gets in LPUNES, the particular scholarship percentage is provided. For example, at present, if somebody scores and gets a percentage according to category three cutoff, student will be given 18% scholarship. That is 18% of the program fee. And if the score falls in bracket two, student gets 28% scholarship. 
and if a student is lucky to get bracket one those 38 percent scholarship will be given to the student now apart from this there are other categories also through which a student can win scholarship like we will look for the percentage of the student in his 12th class so accordingly he or she may be eligible for scholarship so there is a criteria that anybody who is looking for scholarship on the basis of 12th percentage you need to score minimum 80 percent scholarship so if your percentage falls between 80 to 89.99 you again get 18% scholarship. If the percentage falls between 90 to 94.99, you get 28%. And if your percentage in 12th is 95 and above, you get 38. Another category through which a student can win scholarship is on the basis of national level test. Like for engineering students, they do appear for J mains. So we do give scholarships on the basis of J mains percentile out. So you can say that there are different categories in LPU through which a student can win scholarships, but you need to remember one thing that only one scholarship will be given and that too, which is best. Like if there is a student, for example, who is eligible for three different categories of scholarship. So at the time of admission, what we'll do is we'll compare all the categories of his scholarships labs and we'll pick only one, which is the best one. So the best scholarship part will be given to the student and there is another good thing in LPU that whatever scholarship a student wins in the very first semester that scholarship gets carried forward for the complete program. Now it's a four years degree right so if a student wins a particular scholarship of 28 percent in first semester this 28 percent benefit will be carried forward for all four years, all eight semesters. That is the best thing. Now, apart from this, through the same website, you can go through the curriculum details also. You can just have a look at what all slavery you will be covering in your first year under autumn term, spring term, second year, third year, fourth year. That means in one go, you can have a look of the details of the subjects which you'll be covering in your first year, second year, third year, semester wise. That is the best thing. Then you can have a look at the electives offered in the curriculum, whether you'll be opting for cloud computing, full stack web development, internet of things, machine learning, cyber security, data science, so accordingly. There are so many things which a student can go through on this website. Now, Another important point you need to know is that how to register for the test. So you need to register yourself on a portal, which is admission.lpu.in. So once you register yourself, you'll be sent a link also. Through that link, you will fill the details and you will have to book the slot also for your exam. And this exam will be conducted online and we are giving an option for the students to appear for this exam while sitting at home. We call it a remotely proctored online exam from home. But you need to remember simultaneously that there will be a web camera which has to be on throughout your exam because our invigilators at LPU, they'll be monitoring you throughout your exam through artificial intelligence tools. So, all such options are available here and you can apply and you can proceed further after clearing your eligibility criteria you will need to proceed for your admission now another point i would like to tell you that on the same page where the main page when you click on admission on the extreme left you can have a link where it is mentioned lpu's edu fair webinars so through this link you can go through all the webinars which are upcoming webinars also you can you can go through the details that what all topics the people will be covering in the upcoming webinars and the ones which have already been held so if you want to join any particular webinar or go through the webinar which are already being held you can just click on this lpu's adufair webinar link and you'll come across all the webinars and you can get benefit out of those informative informations which webinars are going to do.
right now last but not the least i would like to tell you that on the the contact details as i've already shared that you need to visit our website which is lpu.in for more details in even if you have queries you can just drop us a mail at admissions which is a d m i l s i o n s admissions at the rate lpu.co.in or you can just give us a call also on the numbers which are 01824517000 another number 404404 thank you so much wish you all the best have a nice day over to ruby ma Thank you so much, sir, for the detailed information about the admission part, and thank you so much, experts, for the such an informative presentation and your talk. Thank you so much. And the attendees, I must tell you that decisions determine destiny. So don't just wait for the last date. Decide your own date and uh, and take the admissions of your ward as soon as possible. So with this, we'll conclude at today's webinar. I would like to express my appreciation to the experts. for their valuable contribution to our webinar and my deepest gratitude goes to all who attended this webinar and helped to make it such a successful one and experts i'm sure that your years of experience will definitely help the audience to choose the right path so thank you so much everyone until next time i am rubigel finally sign off session thank you thank you sir thank you thank so you. much